when designing biometric recognition devices, our customers ask us, why use AI? Why on a microcontroller? And of course, how? To see why do we, as design house, take this approach, we can test the efficiency of the high technology with our demo. We perform a standalone fingerprint recognition demonstrator that sorts fingerprints on the STM32H7 discovery board. The device already embeds a template on my fingerprint and can recognize authorized fingerprints in an extremely efficient and precise way. And check out how fast it is. Only 220 milliseconds to accept or reject a fingerprint among the set of pre-recorded fingerprints. And this means that with AI, we are half the processing time. Now, to answer the question as to how we design AI-based devices, this simple flowchart summarizes the main steps. It's a mix of expertise and efficient tool sets, both of which we are here at ID3. Let's go into a bit more detail. The first step is designing the AI model. Here, our data scientists develop the mathematical model using learning technologies. The second step is the analysis of the model using STM32Cube.ai from ST. These tools provide a precious assistance by automatically generating source code relative to AI algorithm. Therefore, they significantly speed up the development of embedded software. The last step involves our embedded software engineer. Their task consists of performing the final embedded application. The developer builds two independent software blocks that communicate together, a biometric library and a final application. So, let's conclude of the advantages of embedding artificial intelligence on the standalone microcontrollers. To cite but a few, the products are more efficient, less expensive, and free for server-based solutions. This is why we are often asked to train, synthesize, and embed AI models on microcontroller tip targets. In addition, ID3 technology also provides its customers with STM32-based biometric controllers integrating our AI models. For more information, please visit our website id3.eu.